Hello and welcome. Please try this problem on your own, and then when you're ready to talk to me about it, press play and we'll solve it together. All right, so here they want to know if f of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 8. So that's our first equation, right? And g of x equals 1 fourth of x minus 1. For which values are these two things equal? So to find that, set the expressions equal to each other and solve for x. So what I'm going to do is subtract 1 fourth of x from both sides and add 1. Right, you don't have to do this first. It doesn't need to be done that way, but it helps me. This gives me 0 on the right side. On the left side, we subtract a fourth of x and add 1. So we have x squared minus 2 and a fourth x, or minus 9 fourths x, same thing, um, and then minus 7 equals 0, right? Negative 8 plus 1 is 7. Now we've got to find uh, the x values that work right here, and for me, I don't really want to factor this because it's a little bit difficult for me to do. And this is a multiple choice problem, so you can plug in answers uh, to see which x values would give you 0. If you went through it, you would find choice 2. But I think a uh, quicker way is to use the quadratic formula. This is a formula they give you on the exam based on completing the square. It says that x will always equal the following. It will always equal negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. And what that's saying is that if you have a quadratic equation written in standard form, which this is, you can plug in a, b, and c and solve for x. So where do we find a, b, and c? Well, b is the coefficient of x. That's this number right here. It's the coefficient of the x term. So b is negative 9 fourths. And then we do plus or minus the square root of b squared. Again, that's negative 9 fourths squared, right? Negative 9 fourths squared minus 4 times a times c. a is the coefficient of x squared, which is just 1. And c is negative 7. C is the constant value all by itself. And then what we're going to do is divide that by 2 times A, or 2 times 1. So X is equal to this. So what do we do? Well, X is equal to negative 9 fourths plus or minus the square root of 30, up to 81 sixteenths. That's uh, negative 9 fourths squared. You just multiply nine, negative 9 fourths by itself. And we're going to subtract negative 28. Right, because 4 times 1 times negative 7 is negative 28. And we're subtracting it, so it's really plus 28. And we're dividing that by 2. Now, we're going to work this out in the calculator. Um, you could plug in at this point. I'm just going to simplify a little bit. So, um, negative 9 fourths... Um, oh, excuse me, I made a mistake. Going back, sorry, sorry, sorry. So b is negative 9 fourths, right? So negative b is positive 9 fourths. Make sure that's a positive sign right there. Sorry about that. So on, on the calculator to evaluate this, um, what I would do, I guess, is just enter it in at this point. We're going to have two equations, really. Uh, we're going to have one equation, right, where we add these things. So it'll be, sorry, 9 fourths plus the square root of 81 over 16 plus 28, right, all divided by 2. And the other one is where we'll have um, 9 fourths minus, because it's plus or minus, the square root of 81 sixteenths plus 28 over 2. And then we scroll to the right. And this is good practice because sometimes you'll have a problem like this that aren't multiple choice. So you want to really get familiar with the quadratic formula. Okay, so how do we enter this in the calculator? Go to my home screen, clear everything off. 9 fourths is just 9 divided by 4. We're adding the square root, second, here's the square root sign, of, parentheses, 81 divided by 16, right, plus 28. That's our numerator, enter. So that's where we add them, right? That's 8. All of that breaks down to just 8. And then we're dividing that by 2, so the first answer is just 4. And the other one, we're going to subtract. So, um, so again, I can do second entry, actually, the shortcut. That'll pull up my previous entry. And I'll just scroll to the left here, and I will change the plus to a minus instead of retyping the whole, the whole annoying equation. Minus. Enter. Right? And that's our numerator. That divided by 2, because we're dividing by 2, is negative 1.75. So those are our two x values that work in this equation. All right, I hope this helped.